Okay, so our first step is to um, navigate over to the firewall, go to the SNAT, and we need to add a, a SNAT to begin with. So we'll hit add, we'll give it a name, we'll call it RDP. Of course, SNAT stands for Static Network Address Translation. So we'll give it a name, we'll add a member, and the member will be any external. The internal IP address will be the IP address of the computer you want to forward packets to. In this case, and the port you want it to forward it to. In this case, 3389, which is a standard RDP port. So we'll save that. So now that we've created the static NAT, we want to create a firewall policy that will use it. So we head over to firewall policy, add a policy. What we want to do is add a custom policy type to begin with. So custom poli policy type, add it, and we'll give it a name, we'll call it uh, remote desktop. We'll add a protocol, and the protocol is simply the external port. So we'll pick uh, 7500, and that's an arbitrary number, any number you'd like. And we'll save that protocol. And now we can add the policy. So he says, essentially, we're going to remove these fillers here, remove that one remove that one. So we want any packet coming through port 7500 on any external interface to be forwarded to and we'll use the static NAT that we just created, RDP. So again, any packet coming in on port 7500 on any external interface will be redirected to an internal interface with the IP address that you state and of course the port number will also be natted at 3389 in this case and now we've just created a, for a port forward on our watch guard.